Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 30 of my journey through group self-found Necropolis League. Last time I leveled my elemental crit reeve juggernaut to level 100 in the process crafting this GG opal ring, giving me a bunch more damage and allowing me to work in the wise oak helping to mitigate the increased elemental damage taken from my replica abyssus the goal for today is to try and see if i'm capable of doing t17 maps i have only completed one t17 map so far and that was just so i could get my fifth slot on my map device I spent a couple hours cleaning out my dump, got all the uniques filtered through the big storage tab there, got space to store those. I have overflowing corpses. I have two quad tabs full of increased corpses. I've got four stashes of scarcers. I don't like there's any fizz scarcers in here. Nope. And I have almost a full tab of tier rating. So... I could do a bunch of crafts just to spend a bunch of these. Probably make a big fizz weapon, which I know requires a lot of life and mana scarcers. I have a few manas, plenty of life scarcers. But I think it's a big sign that I need to be much more choosy in what corpses I pick up. I mean, all of these are increased life. I've got a bunch of rows, bunch of columns. I've got 11 craft additional item. So there's a lot of stuff I could do. I have these two experimented weapons. I've been thinking about trying to make a solarine bow like I did last league, but use the graveyard to craft it to make it have more elemental damage than I was able to get last league. Maybe use that for my uber boss killer, provided that this build can get through the T-17s and farm those up. I don't think this build is going to have what it takes to do the Ubers. I've also been toying with the idea of removing my Fortify support, which this gives a guaranteed chance for my hits to Fortify. Though I was told there is a Eater Implicit that can give me a chance for Fortify on melee hit. It's only a chance though, not guaranteed fortify so i don't know if it would be reliable enough to drop the gym i thought about trying to path through here and get the max fortification and get a bunch of life regen in the process and get melee hits fortify here but that takes five points though i might be able to get those five points if i can get an enlighten now i know roth has one but i also have three of the enlightened so what I'm going to start by doing is farming a bunch of harvest and gamble these cards and trying to get an enlighten that way. And I will have to set up an Atlas passive tree to go after the T-17s as well. I don't have that set up at the moment. And then probably the most next most accessible upgrades for the build are double corrupting Tanu Ahis, going back to Heist to get more Replica of Business to try and double corrupt those. That's also a kind of tall order, I think. And I think I can recraft my Diamond Flask. I don't know that I need to worry about the curse effect on me. At this point, I want more crit chance. 53 crit chance. Come on, give me something. Reduce duration, increased effect. Mm. Null it, save it. Good. Come on. Ooh, flask charge on crit. Aha. Okay, so that's going to always be up. Right on. So drop all my beyond stuff. I can drop the giant abyss nonsense. That gives me 54 points. That is a few. I do need to put my quant wheel back and then get all the harvest stuff. And I need yellows. Crop rotation. Your maps contain the sacred grove. Good. So I don't need to add it. The shrines in because they're the best. That'll be good enough for now. I'll keep tweaking this so that it will be good to go into T-17s. I want to go in there with Soul Fight for the extra max res damage speed. I want to bring Huck in if I can. So I need chance for Smuggler's Cash. Probably want to get No Honor Among Thieves so that 
there's a better chance at finding one early in the map, but that'll come a bit later. So then for harvest, I can do small maps. This is where I can bust out the toxic sewers. I think I'm just going to commit to 20 maps of this. Since I have 20 scarabs of doubling, I can be more loose as well crafting these maps because I'm already level 100. So crit chance, that's fine. I was rerolling that before this reduced spell suppression. I'll probably run that now. I'm tempted to run minus max, honestly. Less recovery rate's still bad. No leech is bad. Reduced armor and block is still really bad. I have two of these cornucopia ones too. I want to put those in and then I probably just use sacrifice fragments for extra quant. And if you haven't seen the build, this build can rip through maps using reeve. Got the vol reeve for extra crazy AoE and it's fast. It's better in open maps because pack size matters in no way. I will just obliterate everything. Hmm. Okay, maybe using the cornucopia thing. I might have just wasted one because of destruct or er, crop rotation because they still need to be raised up. They don't just give them a T4 seed. I did not consider that. I bet it still used my scarab too. Still get tons of life force from these though. Ziggurat map. Yeah, it did use my scarab. Rip. Okay, let me drop crop rotation for that. Actually, I probably don't want any of these reduced chance. And I want to add in Wrath of the Cosmos. I have 76 T17 maps as well, so I'm going to hit that pretty hard. Cool. I got all three drop types. Yeah, up here. So I should get one of each. That's cool. Ain't how this boss has to go through all of its little Leap from the Shadows attacks. It, it did six of them before it will phase. Or will it phase? Like, I can't deal damage to it anymore because it needs to phase. What is it doing for real? <laughs> there it goes. I moved it to a completely different location. Why? And then finish it. Yeah, that easy. Defeat T4 Harvest. Complete. At least this one instantly phased. Sacred Blossom. Ooh, this one duplicated. Awesome. Uh oh, don't kill me. I was right, they can't. I got too much armor. Now they're phased. My multi strike, I can kind of hit them both at once. There's an auto target in both directions. One's coming down. Oh, the top one still needs some more. And there's the top one. Get wrecked. Bunch of life force. Not another blossom though. Domination Scarab of Teachings. Now I can put my points back into crop rotation. I actually get vivid life force. And I need more sacrifice fragments. Maloney's Quiver. Ooh, 70 life on that too. Okay, now I can level more gems at a time. Which reminds me I need to deal with the current gems I have. Got Purity of Fire and Ice. No 21s. There's a 21 Purity of Ice. I have Omen of the Jeweler. Cool. Give me a bunch of sockets. Ooh, there's a bunch of blue sockets as well. Got four blues, three reds, two greens. We have Purity of Lightnings, Purity of Fire, and I got the Purity of Ice and I've gotten the Haste. So I guess I level two graces. Defeat a unique map boss that is possessed while in a ritual. Nice. I got a Namharim. These face. Yes, this one didn't go crazy on me. No blossom, but duplicated. It's 950. Oh, whoa. I should probably do this one. Biz mods are scarcer. I have one. That is the missing piece for any other like elemental stuff I want to craft. I kind of want to make a wand and make a wander with the new wisp things and see what that is because I got the replica theories. Ziggurat map. Harvests are all done. I got 22k vivid, so hopefully that should be enough. Maybe all these divination cards just disappear the first try. Let's see. Oh, now there's two. Then three. Then six. Yes! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Let's go. Oh, level three enlightened. Okay, then. That is big. So I need to get that linked to my determination and anger, and then maybe I can remove the arrogance and get the precision in there. I think the increase in max HP would probably be better than leaving this and trying to find stuff to remove to fit in a defiance banner. So luckily I have a bunch of vol orbs. I need to hit two reds and a green with a guaranteed blue. Let's see. Nope. 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 There it is. Then four link it. Okay. So determination 
anger, enlighten, precision. No, that does not work. I don't have enough mana for the precision, I guess. Right. And I have a level 20 defiance banner. The so determination reserves 290. Anger reserves 289. Banner reserves 57. Okay, so that works. This gives armor and evasion ratings, so I believe that should mean it gives both. So then I think the Molten Shell goes in here, and I drop the increased duration that went with it, and the Blood Rage. Put automation on that, and then I drop the Power Charge on Crit, move the Shield Charge. Then on my helmet, I do the one blue socket. That all fits in there. Yeah. That's good. What did that do to my armor? Uh, I'm at 64 with the banner at 70. That's pretty big. That's very helpful. Automation. I'm probably not going to be able to level this all the way. And hopefully it doesn't spam cast my blood rage. Or I might have to move that. It does spam cast my blood rage. And uh, yeah, it costs life every time. Then the molten shell uptime is huge. Okay. So all I need to do is break the link on this to a two link. Easy. And it's still 11 seconds. That's fine. Unless I can just chrome. Need red, green, red, red. Come on. There we go. Intimidating cry. Keep the precision. Okay. So then I, I guess I have to keep all of this. A possible corruption for this helmet is reduced reservation on these so that could be something as well now though do i need this int i still do okay this armor here guard skill duration and cooldown recovery rate be really interesting for three points i dropped reduced extra damage from crits and put that into life at the moment i think i'm going to drop this other reduced damage from crits and then if anything do increased armor per second you've been stationary up to 100 percent so now if i just stand still for a long time it goes up to 95 last cost me at 127 that's big and then i need to level the molten shell now so that it gives me more armor Okay, I don't remember which one of these I beat. It was the one with the heist boss. I have still have not seen the other bosses. I have not seen the fights at all. I have seen the Abomination fight. I tried that a couple times. Of the most fortresses, I guess I start with these. I just gotta find one of these that's doable. Less AoE. All monster damage can freeze, shark, ignite. I feel like Runes of the Searing Exarch is gonna be bad. Remove 10% of life on hit. Oh, that's when I'm hit, not when I do hit. Reduced effect of curses, that's bad. Rare monsters in the area are shape or touched. Players are marked for death. Take 30% increased damage and cannot recover life or energy shield for 10 seconds? Is everything on these just terrible? Buffs expire 100% faster. When a fifth impale is inflicted on a player, impales are removed to reflect their physical damage multiplied by their remaining hits to that player and allies within 1.8 meters. This one looks doable. Rare monsters have two additional modifiers, though. That could be bad. And I have a mirrored copy of that map. Area contains petrification statues. Reduced action speed for each time you use the skill. Come on. All magic and normal monsters in area are in a union of souls. This one doesn't look terrible either. Highly volatile barrels. That one looks doable. Chance to block attack damage. I negate half of that. Hmm. Okay, I need to get the Atlas Passive Tree set up. Don't need Harvest. And I need the increased chance to contain Nico. This is Nico Chance. Oh, and then the last chance is out here. 88% chance to contain Nico. Yeah, I need these last two. So I've got 36% chance to contain a smuggler's cache. Can I get that to 100? I don't know that I can. Maps that contain smuggler's caches have a chance to contain additional... I guess I could craft it and then chance for the fully revealed blueprints then let's see i maybe want to reduce the effect of haunted mods now is there anything else here that can help me monsters deal less damage have more life could be a good thing or a bad thing i don't know an honest job when you collect a corpse that is a buff i think that's good it's gonna have to be i think buck has haste with job speed reduced hiring fee, that's an open prefix. So that could be more damage if I exalt this. Flat lightning damage. Now, if that's bad, like if it's too dangerous, I could 
give him grace instead, which would give me more armor, which is probably not a bad idea. And I do have a piece for that. There's grace with lightning damage. And then another suffix, increased crit chance, but I don't like that, goes to me. That's probably the safer play, honestly, to have that. I'm nervous. I don't think I should be. I should just go in the map and win. Let me rename this to T17. And then I force heist in here. Tormented spirits. I, I don't want to switch monsters at first. I want to just see. Lightning, lightning, lightning. A fortress. All right, this is the one that I've done. Okay, let me get ramped up. Things are dying. I just don't know if things can kill me. There's the smuggler's cash. So now I've got 125k armor, like 90k. Like he gives me more. Yeah, I'm killing things. That good sign. That's a very good sign. And then it's just a matter of are things going to kill me? I just walked through a bunch of those balls, so I maybe got hit by the one that made it through the spell suppression. And I think the most important thing here is actually, hey, the twins, to find the boss, though. And that was a fully revealed blueprint. Would like to find the rest of the soul fight as well. Ooh, spell damage. Lightning spell damage ended up killing me. And they are powered up by a shrine back there. Okay, death has happened. All right go dive in yeah it's a speed shrine okay so don't go there <laughs> i guess i should have used the stability scarab Ooh, bears no things are dying oh the barrels drop things extra life enemy there and this character is min max to a pretty absurd degree at this point so oh extra max res okay now go get the other shrine and that still hurts take away the shrine Oh, yes. Give me the speed. All right. I need to take the speed into the boss. Where boss? I see a portal. No, that was for a lab trial. No. Um, where? This map is enormous. Here we go. Here we go. Drop the portal. Put down my totems. Go, 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 go. Ah. Uh, don't get blasted, I guess. Go, 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 go. Maybe you can't hurt me, actually. Because armor. I took those. Those things killed me before. The little spitty beam also destroyed me before. I, I guess I have uh, the resistance shrine. Got the fortification up. Well, what about this? Okay, that hurt a little bit. Okay, I killed the boss. And Awakening Cosmic Fragments. An Eradicator map. Okay, good sign. Now I imagine only the bosses drop the fragments. I think this is the boss you farm to get the Yoke of Suffering. Which honestly could be a damage upgrade amulet for this build. And I was missing one of the soul fights. I gotta be wary about the shrines. Now, what did I do to them? Physical damage reduction. They had extra resistance, and I have a 25% chance to flip the resistance. And they had block chance. So I wasn't, I'm not always hitting the enemies then. I have a mastery that said 50% reduced enemy block chance for our sword attacks. And Huck is giving me defense more than offense. The worst thing is spell damage, without a doubt. Like, I think. I could need hey, Fist Scarcer to make sure my spell suppression is capped. That's probably my biggest weakness. So Fortress Map, that's the one I had beaten before. So I need to beat the other four. And I did that without additional map portals. Also big. Let's try Ziggurat Map. Reduced effect of auras, bad. No spell suppression, no block, bad. Four additional projectiles, AOE, four different curses. Players and their minions deal no damage for four out of every 10 seconds. That almost seems doable. No charges is bad. Reduce extra damage from crits, unique boss life. I don't like reduce extra damage from crits. That's a big damage fall off. This is extra chaos, block, less AOE. Oh, the reduce action speed each time you use the skill. That's so bad. Monster spell suppression, less defenses? Why are all these mods awful? Less? Deal no damage, barrels, less armor, more monster life. Like, the losing armor hurts badly. Reduced action speed, life is ES. That's 
also pretty bad. Monsters steal my charges is bad. Unstable tentacle fiends. This one looks doable. Extra monster damage. Rare and unique monsters remove 10% of life, mana, and energy shield from players or their minions they hit. That's a little scary. 90% reduced aura. That's so ridiculous. And yeah, cut your armor in half. 80% less recovery rate. Is this supposed to be doable? Marked for death is terrible. Minus 20 max res. Here we go. Visit extra of a random element. Sure. Fine. Possessed boss though. Like <laughs> No block, no spell suppression. Is that one mod? Yes. I'm gonna try the deal no damage for four out of every 10 seconds with four additional projectiles and AoE, I guess. <laughs> Sanguine Serpents, Typhoons, Abyss Monsters, World Shatterer, Pack Size 1, uses Leap Slam. Okay, we'll let that thing drop Scarabs, I guess. Sure. What do we got? A Ziggurat. This could be the Katarina one. Ow. Yay, 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 just can't deal damage at the moment. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Why? Here's a world shatterer. Oh yeah, I, I was like, does it have that much HP? No. All right, I see the debuff. When I can deal damage, we're good. I can't get my leech. It's terrible. Whoa, multi proj. Oh, it is, I don't know. If the, it's just gonna be the maps that are hard. It's just the mods on them are awful. You just like lose everything you built on your character for the entire map. <laughs> Costian Parandus. This is crazy. Oh, now I gotta back off. Go. And then stop. And go. Ah, okay, I got my first soul fight. It's extra max res. Now I can fight another Costian Parandus. Yo, that's good. Two of those in one map. I think I found the boss as well. Yep, this is a Katarina. Ow. 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 Whoa, AoE much? I mean, when I'm dealing damage, I'm, I'm dealing better damage here than I was in the last boss fight, I feel like. Ow! How am I gaining my flash charges back is what I want to know. My life flash charges? Nightmare of Cur- Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, Katarina was fine, but we, we're adding Kurgle in the mix. Okay, so maybe that's why Katarina was taking damage, because I gotta deal with this crazy nonsense. And then I just occasionally- Nope, you take no damage now. Oh, I gotta run. Did his backflip thing. Well, I, I am feeling like I'm proving that I'm capable. Orlamac, okay, don't stand in that. I can take that bite. Arise, my children. Okay. There's a ton of them. Why the... De like the Dejin, though. Ah! Oh, and they're coming now. Because I couldn't run through the Dejin. Oh, we're, oh, we're just going to make more before the other ones are gone? Lovely. Okay, I was gaining life flask charges just periodically through the fight. That helps a lot. And the rest of the map does not matter. I need the fragments off this boss and the chance for the boss to drop me the unique. Okay, we're breaking another thing. Nightmare of... Ulamon. Okay. Now, Ulamon, I am not scared of, actually. He does all chaos damage. So I just stand here and try not to get blown up by the crazy multi prod AoE. And don't move during the give your soul to me? Yeah. The you do no damage thing is so, like, I, I lost my window to attack. 
Because, like, while I could do damage, he went to a minion phase. Ugh. Oh, Arise. Okay. This is awful. Oh, I did this with extra AoE. Yeah, but the alternative was, like, a million other crazy things. Like, oh, yeah, this is... How are you supposed to deal with that? Oh, I, so maybe that's a multi-proj issue with all of the... Then it's just like, oh... Now you can't do damage. Good luck with your life, leech. Yep, and and dodge. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make... This is dumb. Yeah, these things won't blow up. Oh, there they go. Alright, we're back in the fight. Arise, my children. Yay! More crazy minions. Wow. Yeah, no, blow up on my totems. How about that? That'd be cool. Oh, I can't run. I gotta dodge that. And then they all blow up. And... Okay. Awesome. The boss scene, the boss fight seemed fun. The mods on this map made it seem like total ass. Another twins? Okay. I mean, like the like it's even worse that I looked through like 20 of these maps and picked the one that seemed the best and I got this. Really? Like I forgot about the shrines. I did go in with some shrine business. Like, I don't think there's any like finishing that. I can clear through this map though cuz nothing's killing me cuz I mean okay, I did get a shrine. So I got like four additional projectiles, big AOE, four different curses, and I can't deal damage 40% of the time. And that was the easiest one out of 20. Oh, hello. I died to multi-proj mortars. That, that is a little more fair. That was a ziggurat map. Monsters gain fizz is extra. I'm immune to chaining projectiles. Possessed boss. Okay, maybe that one winds up being better. Ooh, all hits are critical strikes. Ew. Okay, right again. I'll be able to damage things. <laughs> and then I save the shrines and then go nuke the boss with the shrines, even though it's going to be phased. Ow. Oh yeah, the abyss with the crits. Stygian Spire. So I think everything that's going to come out of it's also going to have crazy crits. Okay, managed that. Okay, I found the boss. No shrines yet, though. There's still a soul fight. Like, go in there with so much extra nonsense. Found a shrine. What was that? Rare monsters have vault, of course. It must have been that. Resistance shrine. That's good. Oh, I gotta watch out for the volatiles. It had to have been what got me again. Uh, I, I just don't know why I died. Yeah, this is a rare enemy. That's a rare enemy. Volatile. The mirrors have... Uh, that's just wonderful. Yeah, I managed that. Got my last soul fight. 20 monsters remain. That's good enough. So this is where I grab the shrines and let's go. Got a defensive shrine. So, tormented boss. This is extra. Got energy shield as well. Ow. Okay, my totems just die. So is it going to be the same order? Looks like it. Oh, and Kurgle gets tormented too. Ah, DJ, 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 DJ. So I can maybe position the explosion or the, the big DJ puddle. All right, I got to the next boss. Ah, I was trying to bait him out. Oh, DJ on the door. That, that, that was a great choice. Hey, move. I need to just not move. Ow. I think you're getting flask charges as the boss dies. Kind of like you get Vol Souls. Mm. Tormented boss with 100 and God knows what extra damage. What was the other one I set aside here? Rare and unique monsters remove 10% of life mana energy shield from players on hit. And 38% monster damage. Which is going to mean more degen. The boss seems cool. It'd be cool if I could fight it in a white map. 
That's what I want. Players targeted by a meteor when they use a flask. Monsters gain endurance charges like that one is attemptable. Reduced action speed. No, no damage. Petrification statues. I don't know that I can be petrified. And the curses all come together, I guess. So that one seems attemptable. This is chaos is fine. Okay, this one is just crit and Ellie reflect. That one's doable with the uh, awakened Ellie with attacks. Less cooldown, less AoE. So the boss only gets speed in this map. That one is doable. Additional monster mods hit 98% monster life. I think that one might be okay too. I might have to settle for the additional monster mods. Area contains drowning orbs. This is chaos. I don't know what drowning orbs are. Grasping vines on hit. Minus max summon totems. No, I can't do that. Minus 11 max res. But then it's the, the, the marked for death. Like that's... That is a terrible mod. Removing all players' recovery. It's the same as the Awakener's Desolation stuff. Removing every ability to recover life is so terrible. Increased damage per nearby ally. This one's very doable. Minions, less attack cast movement speed. Crit chance, fizz is extra, so it's going to be a lot of damage. <laughs> this one is just speed possessed boss. That one seems good. Oh, the AoE comes with the four additional projectiles. Burning ground, power charges, life is yes. That one's fine. And I was excited. It's like, I finally got a build. I'm ready to go tackle these maps. And it's like, ha ha, these maps suck. And we gated all these cool uniques behind them. AoE multi is not doable in the boss fight. Monster damage penetrates resistances targeted by Meteor. Otherwise, there's nothing on this. That might be worth giving it a shot. Unique monsters have a random shrine buff. All damage from hits always ignites. And crit. That might be doable for somebody. Maybe not me. Monster life speed. Less effective curses. That is the most doable one I've made. This one has Exarch Ruins, otherwise is doable, I think. This one's just Grasping Vines. 75% less AoE, so they can stack. That one seems okay, though. This monster damage reduced from crits might be doable. Not multi-prods, just a lot of AoE. Learning the boss fight, and that one I think is doable. Once I learn how to have her target the projectile thing on me, her staff. Damage players totems take from hits is taken from their summoner's life instead. I wonder if I can mitigate that through my armor and stuff. I'd have to test that one. Yay. How many chaos do I use? Like a hundred? Well, this one seems pretty doable. The less cooldown means less uptime of my molten shell. But otherwise this one seems okay. All magic and normal monsters are in union of souls. I don't know what that means. Ah, spell damage. Oh, the AOE is so bad. Oh, man. Let me ha hit the... Ah! I wonder, it, like, is the Union of Souls nonsense, like, all magic monsters in the map, or, like, each pack? I thought this map looked good. Uh... Something's just, like, destroying me. Maybe I wasn't getting the Fortify up? Okay, well, less AoE makes this build really bad. Now I have Fortify. I just have no AoE, and the enemies have tons of HP. Yeah, it, it it's probably, like... Throughout the whole map, maybe. I, I don't know. Oh, my God. Okay, not that map. Grasping Vines. Volatile Core is less AoE. I think it's gotta be this one. More Monster Life. Nothing crazy here. So these enemies die. Uh, I don't remember if this one has Volatiles on it. Ah, those lightning damage enemies. I think I killed a rare? No. He just goes underground. Okay, it died. No Volatiles. Ah, oh, bleed. Add a Life Flask. <clears throat> There's first Soul Fight. So it just gets a little bit easier. Shrine. I'm almost tempted just to like go after the boss. Yeah, I'm just gonna try. Mm, having Hawk and the other two things would be really good. More monster life though, and like I'm doing damage. Come on. Okay, phase one. The arena gets smaller, and we got a Kurgle. Just watch for the backflip. There it is. This one's feeling better. <laughs> I made it through this bar. Okay. Uh, okay, so that is still a massive AoE. And I can't run through that degen to turn those things off. Oh. Ah. 
Okay, we're making more of them. Need to remove as many as I can. Okay, yeah, just a couple at a time. Don't let them all blow up. Mm, okay, I need Huck. I need that grace. Stuff out here is tanky too. Rocks bubbles and bleed. Reduced effect of curses is making it impossible to get power charges up. Wow, this mana siphoner thing, it wouldn't stay still. Because Plenishing shrine, that will be helpful. It's a long way from the boss. It finally, there's the huh, smuggler's cache. Okay, so now I need to hit the shrines. Ooh, give me this mod tier rating. All right, go. I need to get to the other shrine. Way, way, this map is so big. Okay, hit this one. So I got replenishing chill. Okay. Ah, of course, they were still there. God, my last portal. Oh, it's really kind of deflating. Okay, finishing up Olamon. Finish him at the very edge. I want... Okay, cool. I got room. Okay. Okay, I, I got rid of a lot of them. Definitely not all of them. Oh, no, not more right now. Oh, okay. I got, I still got to remove a bunch. Oh, I got to remove a bunch more. She removed the degen. All right, then use my blinks. Ah. Oh. oh, I'm so afraid of them. Okay, got rid of them. So now I can just sit on top of here and beat Amanamu. And then nuke Katarina. Good. Keep going. Good. Uh, it's, it's like right where the boss dies. Keep going, keep... I need to remove them. Ah! So close. They're crawling. Die, 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 die! Don't kill me! Okay, okay, they're still there. I killed her. Alright, they're gone. Synthesizing fragment. Okay, and those are not special unique. I beat a second one. The defense is there. The strap with the soul fight and huck works. Degens are an issue. Let's try sanctuary next. Is there any chance any of these are rolled? Nope. No, no, this one. No, that's reduced section from crits. Nope. Drowning orbs awaken or system. Minus nine max res. That's tempting, honestly. Okay, this one's got AoE projectiles, but otherwise this one's free. And then I want a single domination scarab. And five chaos I gotta spend for the smuggler's cash. Okay, so these lightning projectors, they are awful. So let's wear embers. I got tons of embers. Just throw Zoff in there. World Shatter is fine. Bloodstayed Conjurer, Resolute Guards, Shocking, Mistress, Demons of Bedat. Okay, yeah. Just get rid of the spell orb things. Casts Holy Fireball. You know what? I'm going to remove that one too with another Zoff. All right. This looks like Crimson Temple. This is going to be the one where I have to fight Lysia, I guess. Let's just make it through the whole map without dying. That'd be great. These, act these maps are actually so big that bringing these Zoff minions in here, I'm going to get a lot of Zoff splinters from this map. Fuck. That extra armor is so helpful. Maybe what I need to do is put my own grace back in and drop the anger and then give Huck something else offensive. Probably not a bad idea. Resistance shrine. Probably good. I don't know what 
kind of damage this boss does. I'm going to have to fight the Beyond Demons in there. The Beyond Bosses, I bet. It's probably going to be staged just like the Katarina one was. This shrine is so far away from anything that I should just take it. Is this the boss? Yeah, it's a portal. That looks like it's from Sanctum. I'll at least put my portal here. Okay, going to save the shrines for a potential... I have to come back into here. Okay, yep, Lycia. Ow. Boss is dying. Okay. Halfway. Oh, now, uh. Be that during the maze thing. Interesting. I got 10 seconds. Now, is that just going to happen the entire time I have to fight beat at? Ooh. It very well might, actually. I've almost got beat at. Ah! No! Okay. I think this is doable. Okay. Totems. Go. Watch for them coming for me. Go in. And again. Oh, no, no, yeah, come back. Let me fight you. Hope I don't have to fight them all. The beam kind of hurts. Come on. Don't get blasted by that, probably. Oh, finish it. So close. Hmm? Yeah! Right on. Okay, no new unique. Awakening fragment. Okay, that one was straightforward enough. No crazy degens. I pulled a Zoff Breachstone and 65 extra splinters. I feel better about that one. The fight makes sense. It's hard. Some crazy things you gotta deal with in there. And what was on that? That was four additional projectiles, extra AoE. So extra AoE might have made that crazier. And the extra projectiles might have made more spinny circle things, but not bad. Not bad at all. So I've beaten Ziggurat, Sanctuary, Fortress, Citadel. This is the last one I haven't seen. This is going to be the Expedition one. And yay, none of them are doable. Ooh, here we go. 100% reduced effect of curses on monsters. So no power charges in this. Just some monster damage, unstable tentacle fiends, and volatile cores. I mean, let's give it a shot. And what do we got here? Spectral leaders and warriors. I have one of the lightning protectors. Lightning tamers cast ball lightning. Order of the chalice monsters. Yeah, I can make this one free, honestly, so I don't have to struggle with it. Some rats, some frogs. Remove this one. Give those the things. Let's go. Okay, volatile cores. Unstable tentacle fiends. Okay, those are elder things. Okay, soul eater frog. <laughs> He's a big boy. Mmm, volatile. Kill me. No, those volatiles. That was me so off guard. It's just instant death. Degen on that thing. But your monsters in this one. I've died three times before getting the boss. Seems how this one's gone. Oh, and the boss is like in the middle. Okay. No, why? And I went right out the portal that I dropped. Lovely. All right, two portals for the boss. I just got to go in at this point. I'm not super familiar with this boss anyways. But hopefully... I imagine that's probably a Dejan beam that might have killed me if I had been in it. Ow! Those hits hurt really bad. Well...
All right, we phased. They hit once by that, and I'm just dead. <gasps> okay, I don't know that I want to go mess with another one of those. Let's try the abomination map. Monster life resists. Unique bosses are possessed and maven. That one might be doable. I've seen this boss. I just wasn't able to finish it. Less AOE, but otherwise looks fairly doable. Unstable tentacle fiends. Okay, get the embers. Putrefied shaman is fine. Temple guards should be okay. Charred beast should be fine. Just do the top three. This looks so easy, like, compared to so many of these I've seen. All right, I'm gonna have really low AoE. I gotta be on top of whatever I fight. Tiny shrines along the way. Yeah, even with 10 stacks up, it's it's kind of rough. There's a resistance shrine. Here's Huck. Ow, okay. Can't get hit by those. No crazy volatiles. Like, this was just kind of like normal map mods. And then there's some elder things that will kill me if I get caught in that. And I removed all the monsters that look dangerous. There's that too. Around the boss, still need another soul fight. There's lesser shrines all over this map. Ooh, he got me with the rock. There's my last soul fight. Okay, so now I hit shrines to go for the boss. Oh my, where do I stand? Okay, who do I want to fight first? Chevron. That did not one shot me. Uh, the corpse explosions. She's up in the air though. Okay, did not one shot me. Ow. Ah, uh, I don't want to get hit by that. So, Dodre next. So, alright. Killing Chevron first. Maybe not the play! Alright, then Dodre down. So that means I get curses. And then I gotta do Malagaro. Ooh. I wonder if I, have to, if I have to fight the Trinity after them. What was that? That blew me up. Maybe it was Dodri? I should go look for another shrine. I think last time I did this, I, I wound up with Malagaro down first. Okay, now I got a massive with Skellies. Ah, hmm. So I got the shrines all over the place. Or the curses, the totems. All right, what's this one got? Resistances. That'll help quite a bit. So that means I need to not be afraid of a lightning. I need to be afraid of Dodre. I need to be afraid of all the curse totems that I can't seem to do anything about. Please just kill him. Is it? Is it it? Is it it? No. Alright, hopefully if I can remove the totem thing. It'll just be done. Hopefully it doesn't come back. Okay. So I killed Dodre. Then need to remove the totems. Makes sense. Ah! Ticks from the ball. 
Okay, one portal left. I'm really close in there. There's got to be another shrine in this map. What was this? Lesser Brutal Shrine? Uh, I don't know that that's enough. All right, here's my shrine. No extra damage on this side of the Frenzy Charge. And it gave me resist. Okay, the Fizz damage that I need to be afraid of... Big ball. Boss dead? Oh, another one down. Synthesizing fragment. Malachi's mark, I think, is one of the uniques. Life and ES on hit with attacks. Grants Malachi's endurance frenzy and power charges for six seconds each in sequence. Okay. That that fight is crazy. Fight's cool, but it can get just as crazy with all the mods. Ooh. I feel like I just need it. My build needs to be better. Like, I could give myself more life on my boots by dropping movement speed. That's not a terrible idea. I have so much speed. That if I didn't have the speed, like, I can still move. Like, that's not... Like, run speed is kind of slow, but shield charge and, like, I feel like that's okay. I get Onslaught anyways from Tanu Ahi. I just want to see what that would look like. 70 life for that. Yeah, that's more. And what does this do? Malachi's power grants you 10% chance to gain power charge, 10% chance to gain endurance charge when you hit enemies. Okay, so you generate all the charges, and then you get life and ES on hit with attacks. Could make some pretty crazy cast on crit Eldritch battery stuff. These gloves are cool. I got something cool. I beat four of the five bosses, and I don't even know where to begin with this Citadel thing. Everything in that fight hurt, and I didn't even get touched by the beam. So, I don't know. Big yikes, I think. Well, let's try something else. Just go fight Maven. Okay, so I got this extra life here. I'm not getting Onslaught in here anyways, outside of my leech. Let's see, how does Maven go? Move my totems over here. Hey, Maven's taking damage. And then I gotta deal with those. That's gonna be the biggest issue, is placing the balls. Uh, my damage is fine for Maven. Cool. The nucleus. The ads just die. Oh, nucleus done. Cascade of pain. Tanking it. Cool. Oh, put those. Yep, that's gonna hurt every time. But I didn't die to it, having to place two balls in the same spot. I tank this. I did. It hurt a lot. Hey, walk in, blink out. Yeah, I just tank everything else. Okay, okay. Maybe not maybe not everything. Both of those attacks probably kill me. Okay, walk in and out. Oh no no no, I that was bad. When I'm holding down right click with this reeve and I try and blink backwards, it will blink me to the location that I was pointing my mouse. It's really strange. So, like, I'm attacking here, and then I try to... Well, I'm gonna run out of mana doing this, so I gotta do it quickly. Okay, I'm, I'm attacking here, blink, and that time it actually did! But the thing is, like, so often, like, if I was name-locked on that boss, maybe, it just, like, remembers that targeting. Now try it again. Blink backwards, and I blinked into the middle because I didn't release my Reeve. And even though I was targeting down in the bottom, when I push the Frost Blink, it blinks me to where I initially targeted. So that's something I guess I got to be careful about. And then, oh yeah, even this, like, there's a lot of builds I will do that. I'll keep attacking, and then I will Frost Blink. That's normally not an issue. Hey, okay, where Maven? Up here. That kills me. <laughs> I had no fortify or anything up though. And maybe die. Please don't make me memory game again. Come on. Nope. Memory game. Left up. Left up. Left up. Where? Bottom right. Fortify is really important. Alright. Finish it. Nope. Up here. I gotta have the totems. Dead. Boots. Mm, no. For real, it's like, in my mind, just let me scour these and run them white. <laughs> Please. Like, I, I don't want that level of stress just, like, in the game. And I know my build is weak to Degen. Like, that was going to be the case always. 
with this build but regardless even though i only have 3300 life this is the tankiest character i've made in a couple years what to do next i think i might just smash out a bunch of the formed so i can run like a big batch of mavens feeling really deflated after all these t17s that i tried like i was expecting them to be difficult i wasn't expecting it to be the map mods are just crazy the only thing i can really do is keep trying to make it better or start it on something else like as somebody who likes to tinker and make builds with things so many cool uniques being gated behind all of that nonsense really sucks and i want to be able to do it to get those things and i really believe if i could scour these maps i could do it i could like grind out the fragments like if a white map like the boss only gives you one fragment sure fine whatever i'm okay with that the fact that some of these rare ones only gave me one fragment you need five just to attempt one of the uber bosses and i say attempt just getting them doesn't mean you get to like beat it so yeah keep chasing something more op here we go i got two nameless seer maps i'm gonna put my movement speed onslaught back on these boots because for normal maps it just doesn't matter what does this tree look like um incursions will show up sometimes yep i could use more incursions i want to switch this to be fishing for more parandas i really don't think i need these either i would rather have the nodes down here those are really good map drops in these as well destructive play yeah okay probably a good spot for some cartography scarabs scarabs of ascension and then just keep crafting shrines on maps because I want to destroy stuff. Maybe a nameless here will give me a mage blood. What we got? Taste of hate. Like we have extra taste of hate. Actually, I did. I do think I gave away the last taste of hate I grabbed. <sighs> Might flay no. Yep, gotta be a taste of hate. Okay, I forgot to put Maven in it. I brought Exarch influence. Oh, echoing shrine to drop these. Oh, gonna have to wait for him to come up. And a minotaur. I don't have totems down. He got my totems. He dies. And I need to use these embers as well. That's something else I can do. Switch this to Maven. Next nameless seer. Utula's hunger. There's the only thing jumping out at me there. There's the goal. Nah. Bringer of rain. Oh, that's can't use chest armor. No. Utula's hunger. Okay. Citadel map. Let me up the stakes in here. And I just stand here. Push the life flask once. Awakened added cold damage. There we go. There's something. You know what? I'll even just slap it in here. Get it leveling. I need another scarab. Chance to duplicate maps. What about Phoenix? Can I take his blast? I just did. The ignite hurts though. Ow. Ow. Something else in there hurts. Uh, I think there was, like, Fizz Dot from the Necropolis boss. Hydra. Can I tank the balls? Okay, they hurt a tiny bit. Was that Hydra dead? No, that was one of the added monsters. Can Hydra kill me? Oh, well, she didn't. Duplicated Redeemer maps. Balls are a little bit scary. The formed double Fizz is extra. Start with Hydra. Oh, healing. Oh, and then Hydra left. Uh, a little cold degens. Stuff. The heal wasn't too terribly bad because it only happened once and I killed both of the ones that started. Ooh, what about... Oh, I might have blocked that. Ooh. No, okay. Phoenix killed me. Fair. Okay, so dodge the Phoenix blast. I don't think Minotaur can kill me or the rocks. Mm. Phoenix kill me again. Yeah, Phoenix, yeah, lowered my max fire res too. Oh, that's breaking my wise oak thing. Phoenix. Dick. Double corrupt the enlighten. Level four enlighten. Well, that's good. Something. Ooh, that's scary. Um, <laughs> degen. Any kind of degen. Got me shaking in my boots. Blind hinder less AoE. 
Easy. Start with Hydra again. Almost. I gave them extra HP or something last time. They're dying, I feel like, faster than they did last time. And these two I can just face tank. Yeah. Oh, no, there was a heal last time. That's that's what it was. What do we got? Bonus fragments. No Awaken Gym. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be my main focus for next time is go after these invitations and then smash as many mavens as I can. Evaluate then what Awaken Gems I have and then maybe come Friday start something new. I still have this Replica Heres on the mind. Mess with some kinetic blast or whatever do something with this just because it happened to show up i can run a five way we'll do that real quick five minutes let's see how this goes these guys should just die cool oh that's not the boss this one you gotta run through all the statues or you can't damage him i totems need those then akuna has some degen and that big corpse explosion okay then lion eye nope over here easy enough and then the most dangerous one napuazi has chaos degen but she's dead oh so it's round one and here he yeah ramped a little better this time come on kill him before he gets the star ah, he keeps killing the totems why well, I hate that the totems are so much of my damage. It's awful. I don't know if I quite have the damage to really be optimal here with the five ways. They respawn after I think 25 seconds. And I don't think I can kill all five of them in 25 seconds. But I'll get as many as I can in the time. Refresh again. Round number three. Vox. Come on, die. Oh, I lost my totems. You got the totems back, then the damage. Akuna being uh, two phases really slows that kill down. If I was just doing four of them, I'd probably be getting them on cooldown. Oh, oh, this one's already here, yeah. Templar's not going to be there, though. I have to refresh for that one. Let's go. Nope, got to run through them. More totems. Did I miss one? Had to have missed one. Still hitting him. There we go. I wonder if I can like refresh while Kuna's leaping in the air. That might be a good call. I don't know. Ooh, something got me a little bit. Yep, here he's already back out. And a couple more. Cool. Then another Akuna. I might be able to get both Lion Eye and not Buatsi. No, probably. Nope. He needs refreshed. Just gonna be Lion Eye then. Actually, Lion Eye has the worst jewel, I think. Okay, what we got? Any jewels? Glorious Vanity. Brutal Restraint. Lethal Pride. Hell yeah. So if I were to just slap this jewel in here, it loses me 5% life attack block. Minion damage. 20 dex. Can roll evasion. Elemental damage. Dex. Dex. Stun Avoid. Fizz is extra cold, extra cold, 5% dex, attack and cast speed, movement speed, aura effect, crit chance, projectile damage. There's a lot of good things on this brutal restraint that can hit. I think lethal pride's more fire based. Yeah, burning damage, attack leech, max fortification, fizz damage, 1% regen. That's a crazy add to a node. Melee crit multi. Is something this can hit. Chance to deal double damage is also good. It's not a good spot for it, given how this tree is. The only really good spot for it is where I'm getting all my chaos res. So you get 20% armor, 20 fire res. That's bad. It kind of breaks things. 5% strength, stun duration, strength, max fortification. That didn't really hit on that location. Chance to blind, attack speed, or effect, minion damage. Blind. Proch damage. Yeah, I don't know about the Brutal Restraint. Glorious Vanity, like, corrupts everything. But these are definitely harder to use. Damage over time, skill effect duration. That's really good. Hmm. Well, those are things that I have now. What if I slap this in here? What does this become? You were blind. Blind does not affect your light radius. 25% more crit chance while blinded. And that would only give me increased flash charges gain. Because it's not hitting anything else. Now I'm curious. Blind would lower my accuracy. It's at 
7670. Yeah, it drops us 6136. That is really good. That is a ton of crit chance. This one gets me melee crit chance. Life recovery from non-instant leech is not applied. Oh, this is only physical damage reduction now. And strength of blood. This jewel is immortal ambition. Leech effects not re removed on full life. That would destroy the ton of Ahi. Hmm. I'm intrigued by 25% more crit chance. I'm at 442 DPS with all this attack speed. Now, if I were to do take that and give that it says the dps is better honestly losing 17 percent attack speed Ooh, less accuracy and evasion rating did that hurt my armor if it did it wasn't much it would just be like lowering the evasion rating that's on my gear before it converts to armor so that doesn't really hurt there still have a hundred percent chance to hit i can't imagine pub saying that that is better hmm. i'm gonna put this back for now and play with it and that might be in for next time put my frenzy charge back i'm definitely intrigued and then for wednesday yep we'll smash invitations get the the awakened gyms and i'm happy i'm taking tomorrow off to play dark souls because those t17s really are frustrating me just like the whole implementation of it why there needs to be mods that just break your build like why is there a less aoe mod is there isn't a less projectiles mod and it seems like the grouping of potential mods hurts some builds more than others I feel like a bow build would just go in there and handle a lot of that just way better, which is crazy. But I'm still determined to find a way to overcome it, I guess. Um, we're too late in the league for expecting any kind of meaningful changes to those. Still just wish I could scour them. Give me one splinter per boss kill and let it be a grind rather than uh, crazy BS nonsense. But I'll leave it there. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.